what's that? <laughs> there, there's a scuba diver named Earl, and he said, well, what's that? <laughs> that's great. <laughs> uh, that's a good way to start. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> PS1? Uh, I have to make attention. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah. At least we got a crowd this way. Yeah, we do. Alright, so we got that late night smash coming to you. Earl not playing Lucina, which we mentioned this before we came in. Like, getting close to Mario doesn't always seem like the greatest of options. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't just because, like, once you get in that grab range, it's really hard to get out, even if you have, like, you know, good grip or whatever. On the bright side, Krom plays like he's not in this game. He plays like a melee character. You're right, his movement is just insane, and the way he can just throw out multiple moves is, is one of a kind. Also, that, an echo. that sick sound effect. Whenever he hits anything, it sounds so meaty. Oh, I know. <laughs> it, like, it hurts. You can feel it. Oh my god. That, you can feel You can feel that volcano from his hands. That, that hurt. Yeah, Krom's face is on fire. That, that was pretty bad. He went all the way across the stage at like 100. Yeah, he, he likes eyebrows now. But right now, trying to make up the deficit. 86, not too bad for Krom, you know. Especially when you have that. Yeah, those magnet up things. Mario low-key insane. Oh yeah, this is a character that like people like too underrated lists. so far. Oh, okay. top fifteen probably. Wizzy, hey. Dark Wizzy's out there trying to like. Absolutely. Hey, th this character is nuts. Trying oh. to tell people he's top five, just so you guys know, like he's crazy broken. No, like the way you play him is like Lucina with bare fists. You know what I mean? Like it's fundamental, all of it. And if you have great fundamentals, you can go far with Mario. Yeah, he's got different like of a combo tree than he has from Smash Four. Cause now you do like early Ooh. game up throws and stuff. But I feel like his forward smash almost hits a little harder, especially given like stage sizes. Yeah, I think they switched out up smash and forward smash kind of like by uh, them being viable. Like right now, that would have killed him as four. Yeah, probably. But, but definitely still a good move to have nonetheless for you know get off mains or late late night stocks. Although Pokemon Stadium, um, that may not have killed on the stage. People don't realize this because I know that's like the new Smash for like, hey, you want to download the Pokemon Stadium? Mm -hmm. This is the largest legal stage. But, yeah. Surface area wise, like side blast zones, this guy—it's the largest legal stage. If you break it down, correct? Yeah. Yeah, and it's crazy that everybody just wants to like gentlemen's here. It's bigger than Battlefield. Um, obviously, Smashville's a small one now, so not everybody likes to go there. But I'm surprised that like the gentleman stage, now that like town is becoming the legal first one isn't the thing. I think people just love the vibe. It's like the perfect mix of FD and Battlefield. Exactly, and that's what the people wanted was like a mix of both, just in case you didn't want to go to either one, but... Nah, PS1, it's fine. It has its moments, but what stage doesn't, you know? That's true. I'm a big proponent of Lilac Cruise. <laughs> not, not a town guy myself. I, I like town. I'm not gonna lie. I just love space, so... More, more space, the better. That's fair. Actually, my hatred for town is almost like a meme. I, I spent every Smash Force that I commentated looking for an excuse to complain about it. <laughs> there we go. And it always gave me one. That's dedication. Right now, 99%, he is just taking over. I, yeah, with the calm one, you have to get in, but how are you going to get in with beating your face 24-7? Every time Earl's gotten close and whiffed one move, Dan's grabbed him and done like 50%. Exactly. Like, and then like up throw back air, back air happened, or he would just start up airing him forever. Yeah. That's why you don't want to get close, because one grab, it's hard to get out no matter what character you are. Yeah, Dan's looking kind of crispy right now. Like, the last couple of sets have put him into a little bit of a groove. He's been getting all the right reads, great spacing, oh, yeah. excellent punishment. I bet he's playing great. Like, look at this. Come on. Two stuck. That, that, that's what's up. It's really hard to fight Mario. Like, <laughs> short hop back air. Especially in Sunday's best. Look at that. How, how you... He's... That's his most confidence that you're ever going to get wearing that. I play with Mario a lot in casuals. Okay. And I don't ever pick that skin, because in my mind, it belongs to Dan. I'm just like, out of respect, I don't pick it. I pick the, the helmet. Fair enough. I feel that way with Metal Ridley with Trailer. I'm like, I, I hesitate to do that one. I, that's why I go purple. I'm like, ah, he, he, he's killing it, though. I go green with him. I've, I've got a few Ridleys that wins. He's fun as hell. Oh, yeah. No, he's, he's, he's really good. Shiny Charizard, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I don't know about this choice. I'm not a fan of it. Nah. He's gonna stick with it. I think he wants to try it at this point. I mean, if it's gathering data purposes, that, that's fine. But like, you don't wanna, you don't wanna go against Mario like up down to O. Well, they play so much. Do they? They play so much now. Raid is no longer an option for us, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, but they used to be. Like, when they would both go, they would play each other pretty much every time. They play here a lot. Um, they've met, I think, a few times Dan's on the try point. I wouldn't be surprised if they've met. I know they've played a ton of sets against each other in Ultimate. And look at, like, Dan at the upper hand. He almost, he almost dunked him twice. That, just the way Mario flows now, it's different, but the same. It's like an alter, alternate universe Mario. It's kind of it's kind of weird. His is like his up 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 airs are like way better. His back airs are insane. But like his 
but they combo in a different fluent way. Yeah, that's yeah, definitely like up up throw instead of down throw, like complete opposite. And oh, this is why we don't do ground because Flood is broke. No, Flood's very good. Uh, great tool. Um, we saw it a little bit against Ike in their last set that they played yeah, yeah. Uh, earlier. Definitely helps out against anyone who has like a, a stalled recovery. Puts them either in a great position to punish or just overall game. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, Earl has got some different spacing going on than he did the game before. Um, he's doing dash away, dash and jabs a little bit more frequently, and they've been connecting because Dan's been opting to short hop more because on battlefield. Oh yeah. Which actually, if I don't like anything, it's not even the character Ooh. choice; it's the stage choice. Battlefield's probably Mario's like top two stage for Mario. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm surprised we weren't here with Crown just because Crown doesn't really have. He has a kill factor on the side, but he, wow. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Is. Dan's just reading right now, like this whole set. No, I know. His tilts are helping him a lot because he's not teching him, so he's having him just run. Like, where are you going to go? You're going to back off? You're going to come close? Either way, he's ready for a punish because he's going to continue on the constant pressure, which is no problem on that. Absolutely not. You're supposed to be the pressure eat. Also, Dan is virtually like 100% on attack chases in this game. Like, Earl's rolled away almost every time, and Dan's been there grabbing him. <laughs> oh, again. Oh, man, that's... You gotta always be ready. Earl's just been like that jumping. Where he'll be like, all right, I got hit. I'm just gonna jump back to stage. And Dan's been like, I think I know exactly when you're gonna jump. And yeah. he figured out the, the height. He had caught him with it twice. When you have a character that you rely jumps on a lot, then you develop a habit of jumping every time out of shield because it's the most proper thing to do at the time. And that's how you get your most of your punishments. But if they're catching you with tilts, pushing you back, you, you, you can't keep going. You gotta set up some sort of ground game. I almost want Earl to pick that knee brawler named Earl. Right. Just I see what, what happens. A hidden weapon, point. perhaps. Uh, Earl's got a lot of characters like in the pocket Does that, he, that he screws with. Like he doesn't practice swords in this game. He just plays them in tournament. Oh, okay. But he practices there we go. like all kinds of random other stuff when he does play like and stuff. Like I, his Incineroar is like clean. Really? Like clean, clean. Oh but yeah. He doesn't bust it out very often. I mean, it's a risk, you know. It's still Incineroar. Incineroar ain't bad, man. I'm telling oh, you. That, have you seen tweaks? It's it's, it's insane. Well, that that's true. That ain't fair. Like the, the reason that people think Wario is like a top ten character is because Tweak is just a glut good man. Glut to new. Well, how, yeah, oh, Glutoni. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah. No, Glutoni's also very good, but he's like always been the Wario, and he's always been just a great player. Yeah. Tweak, just just we just decided up. like, yo, I'll play Wario this game. Well, there's some Jap Japanese players that I believe use Wario as well, and they've been doing very well in those one of those uh, 45 minute brackets usually. Um, there, there's a few, but they don't like win the events the way like Tweak does and Blue Tony does. Oh, no, like, you're right. It's like top level like yeah you know, finals. Warrior's good. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not meaning to cheese on Wario, but like oh yeah, I'm just pointing out like if Tweak picked like Bowser Jr. again, he'd still be top 15. He's that good. Right. No, I need really, I need I need Tweak to pick Ridley back up because the way he was ledge trapping, I've never seen. And I need to. I want I want more of that. But I think okay. he went back to like Young Link and. That back that was still good. Still still coming in clutch for Mario, even in ultimate. Yeah, I mean right on ledge there, um, if you catch him right on the ledge, but, you know, rage is still a factor, people forget about it. Both of them were over hundred percent. So you know, a lot of characters will have a kill throw. Oh, Mario's man. back throw, super underrated. He's not teching at all, and Dan's probably one of the best tech chasers in the Midwest, and if you don't tech, you're it's not gonna end well. Uh, almost if that fireball snipe happened, it might have killed him. Oh wow, <laughs> landing down smash. Dan's just on The first one of the game, too. There we go. Earl looks a little off, a little exhausted. Dan just looks like he's playing hot. Oh yeah, Dan looks like he just he's just coming out of like he looks like a loser bro. Oh so, wait, he, he Oh, this is loser something. Right, right. Yeah. Who knocked out Dan? Uh, I don't know. Oh, Raven King, game five. Oh nice, nice. Dan was up in a lot of those games too. It was one of those like kinda unfortunate endings for Dan. Yeah. So he, he's making an angry run, and if he wins this set, which he's looking primed to do at the moment, because he can seal his game out, uh, he would get his run back. Um, Raven King is rating in losers' finals. Yeah. He is doing fairly well right now. He's just pacing it out, and the one a big flaw Lucina has is when, when she's down by stocks, she has to be aggressive. She can't be the usual uh, base punish, whatever. It's, it's only you that go in that she can punish. Wow. Right now, just he's just doing a beautiful job of blocking. Wow. See, look at that. So I fully agree with everything you oh, just holy said. Smoke. But for how aggressive Dan is playing, it's, it's Earl, beautiful. Yeah, Earl could break the mold and just start to play passive, but he's doing what conventional wisdom says. He's, a, he's approaching down a stock, and Dan's just punching. Yeah, he has to change up the pace because right now Dan is owning this pace, and he, it's too fast for him right now. And now he can just do short hop back airs forever if he wants to fish, but he doesn't need to fish. Oh yeah, he's not gonna go in for a side. Beat. Oh, he yeah. got to grab again. Is that gonna do it? Not gonna kill yet, but they're him on the edge. Oh my goodness. Oh. Back here almost confirming good fair to get him off though. 
Now we're kind of at that point now where just a lot of Mario's moves are just going to kill at this percent. Ooh, smart. <laughs> smart. I don't like it, but look at that. 152, this is doable. That means Mario, you know, his recovery is still kind of... Yeah, Lucina's is crazy. Yep. Yeah, right now, reverse up smash is going to be legit, and one more upper should do it if it's a clean hit. Yeah, that Ooh. back air gonna catch. And up through yo, super damn gonna advance and just dominant there. Great Mario. Wow. Oh. Yeah, Dan just looking too hot, looking too clean. Earl unfortunately walks out shaking his head. I think he knows he could have played that set a lot stronger than he did. He should was... start off with Lucina, and if you got some data, then go Crom. But uh, he does not like Lucina in this game. I know Lucina's good, but because she's nuts, and he knows it, and it's his best character.